All right. Don't There's look Sophie, like then. Giving you information. There's Herman. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I wanna ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. 
from a discreet distance. All right, quest complete, Unruly Brother. Got some experience. Can I help you? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for work. I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Wait. Take this. A little sweetness for the surplus. Well, do you often give away honey and backhanded compliments like that? Honey and wisdom. Both my gifts to you. So much darkness in the world, why not brighten it with a smile? Might open more doors for you. <laughs> not wrong. Mum, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes. And not based on rumour or innuendo. Thanks. Well, that's very nice of her. It's only a single honey, but... Hey, it's free. Alright. Any good stuff here? Some pigments. And oxidizers. Because I know these UVs will be very useful. In time. Ooh, what's that? Artifact two-handed axe. Ooh, it's 200 though. I mean, 200. Two-handed. Not crazy on those because that's such a slow swing speed. Uh, yeah, oxidizers. Nice. I think that's it. Ooh, someone's got something for me over there. But for now, we're actually going to keep on the main quest. We're going to do this one, and then we're probably going to do some more of that side stuff then. Especially in the bazaar. Because I think we should still have that one missing. Yep, missing persons. Aiden, right. something's up. Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! What? Pretty bad, pretty quick. First guy get this chase ended though. Oh no 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 no. Here we go. Then I could go to daytime, but I think it should be fine at night. Gets more experience too. And that chase end. If I go inside. Nice. Free weapon at least. So worried that was gonna get bad. All right, let's head to that meet since it went wrong fast. I wonder if uh, Joe's gonna be there. Joe or probably some goons. Whoa! Look at that. I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. Jack and Jill's thugs. <laughs> nice. I think he hit the spikes, but we're awesome in my favor. Doing a horrible job at ganging up on me. I'm 
made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we're searching bodies. Hmm. If you hear a weird humming, then that is because my PlayStation's, my PS5 is kind of getting a bit loud with running something for some reason. Susie. Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? <sighs> Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fucking... What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Uh, I could try to search him with this big guy, but uh, let's just kill him instead. <laughs> I've actually dealt with this thing a couple times. Which really, it's not so bad as long as you can swing around it. Ooh. Now it's crowd of these things. Yeah, it's a different story. Get off of me. Get out of here. Yeah. Alright, I think that's all of them. Can't remember though. What kind of head do you get from them? Just rare? I feel like you should get more. Alright, I guess let's focus on searching those bodies then. That way we can get out of here. Oh, I'm glad that wasn't ignited. Actually, I think those things are just gonna keep spawning. Everything's been taken. Probably took them before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. All right. New story quest: the raid. Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Oh, I just want to mark this location. That's all. Uh... There we go. Now to run out of here. Yeah, okay. Since we got that, we got decent... Stopping point on the story side. 
Oh wait, do I not that got that one online? Really? Hmm. Actually then, let's get this windmill going. Ah crud. I knew I was gonna run out of stamina. I guess there's multiple ways of getting around, so even if you don't have the stamina, there are other ways. Nice! That must have been that launch ability that I have, I think. That's what it's called. Oh, here. Okay. I would see another way up. I was like, oh no. And should be a safe zone. Except this will be a survivor's one. <laughs> Which I'd say really between the PKs and the Survivor's windmills so far from what I've seen. Looks like they basically look the same. Additional Survivor structures unlocked in the area. <coughs> like what things have been unlocked then in the area actually? A trading post. So candles, parts, other artifacts found in the decaying streets. And another trading post. Hmm. Interesting. St. Joseph Hospital, we've been there. What about that? What is that location? Though, actually, it must be at the top. Uh, yeah, I don't, actually, uh, I don't have a way up there, so we're not going to worry about that one, actually. Master Windmill. You know what? Let's check that out. You're really helping the community, activating those, Aiden. Much obliged. Sophie has interesting people working for her. Like a pilgrim, apparently. Yeah, it seems a lot of people talk about the pilgrim, yet they don't realize it's... Us. <laughs> Alright. Now time to take this down and we'll head towards that master windmill. At least get it marked. If we can't do anything on it. Uh, of course there's a chase. There's a UV on the way. That's right across, though. Jeez. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, well, I'm in here. What do you got? Pigments? I'll take them. Let's see what I got to sell. So these common weapons, they don't really do much of anything. And just in case, we're going to save these crystals. They were so beautiful. I sacrificed everything. everything. Alright. Now as long as I can stay out of a chase again... It's going to be a little tough here. Whoa. What's 
what's going on here? Oh, you little... Oh no. I need to heal. I got no health. I basically got no health. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, maybe it would have been a better idea just to wait till morning. Can't go back now. Try that again, except staying off the ground. Come on, go, 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 go. Good. Did start a chase. We're in good shape here, then. Don't even know if I'm going the right way over here. Are you kidding me? That ran her side out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I repair it? Please work, please work. You little. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's repair it. Please last long enough. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, those UV things saved me. Big time. Nice. And a little bit of honey and stuff. Alright. Where's that wi master windmill from here? Over there. I do think it's interesting that there's a few points that actually have Night Runner hideouts. Not just any hideouts, but they label it as Night Runner. That's pretty cool. Yeah, if I'm a, should be fine on the ground as long as I keep my distance. Please don't. No, no. Damn you. Ah, oh, please be away to the master windmill. Come on, go, 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 go. Peacekeepers? Oh. Are they gonna let me in? Please? No? Seriously? I'll just stay in your UV then. Mark it on the map. Great. Okay then. Most of us will be on our way back. Might as well do that side quest there. Get some extra experience too. Because if we can get better in parkour and combat, both are very beneficial. Even if our max points aren't really that high, so we're pretty limited, but new moves can help. A lot of things to be more versatile. Nah, I'm not worried about that bolter. That's nah, whatever. Make it, make it. Yes. Alright, let's see what this guy's sad about. But who's gone? Do you need help? 
Oh, no, my friend. <clears throat> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why? Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come by? But <clears throat> they were my friends. My teachers. Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It's a rare commodity. <sighs> oh, I know that. I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, the flour, and my father's weapons. But they can't survive without the water, of course. And out there, in the world, who knows? How many fish are left? Most water has been polluted. Oh, all the dead fish I have seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? Why is this weapon so important to you? I needed to protect myself, you know, to survive. Ah, <laughs> you see, it's all so subjective, isn't it? What's necessary, what's not? <laughs> For me, fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life. So, what did you learn from fish? Oh, uh, how much time do you have? Because they've been teaching me for years. <coughs> they taught me how to listen to others. They're great listeners, you see? And they helped me sleep. <coughs> have you ever seen a sleeping fish? So still, so peaceful. Uh, they don't mind being stared at all the time and aren't bothered when rude people knock on the walls of their tank. Why is that? Patience. Oxygen is important. Almost as important as water itself. Have you ever seen what happens when water lacks oxygen? <clears throat> well, I could go on and on, but I guess it's not the same if it's not coming from the fish themselves. And now I'm curious, where are your fish? Unfortunately, like I said, my fish are not with us anymore. They're gone. What happened? Uh, <clears throat> someone ate them. Wait, wait, someone ate your fish? Someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. The water you sacrificed so much for. Who? Tell me. Want me to go after him? Uh, nah, forget about it. I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. Uh, but um, uh, let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. Uh, one of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank, they don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing, ah, yes. <laughs> Fishing can also teach you a lot about life. You sound like some kind of fish monk. <coughs> I'm poor as a monk now, that is for sure. Farewell, my friend. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish.
Oh, is that it? Really? Old fishing bait. Hmm. <coughs> That's interesting. It's just a little story time, then. Uh... Let's see. Let's... Turn on the filter. Uh, is there something for turning everything off? Because I'd like to just... Oh, there's only a show all. Oh, that worked awesome. Alright. Where's some quest givers then? Oh, I can fast travel? Hey. Yeah, I can't fast travel to the bazaar. Hmm. Okay, so really there's not the main side quest right now. But, since we're close to it, let's do this one. And the map's showing everything again. Cool. Cool. 